Everybody, welcome to another episode of 4GQ TV, and we should be live, hopefully. Um, there is no issue streaming over to Rumble. I just want to make sure, because we haven't done this a lot. <clears throat> Paul yep, is... we're live. We're, we're live. live, all right. <laughs> We're live, guys. We are oh, live. Hang on. You can hear it echo in my thing. Hang on a second. There we go. Now it's gone. Oh, that's probably because you were listening. Um, yep. So I want to welcome everybody to our Rumble stream. Thank you for checking us out over here. Hopefully you hit that like. You subscribe over here. Um, I think Rumble is better for this type of content. So we'll see. <clears throat> but tonight, um, PK might be sleeping already. And honestly, to be honest, I... I don't know. <clears throat> Hopefully he makes it on the show. Animated has some stuff that he's going to handle. <clears throat> but we have the return of the ever wonderful, mostly amazing bird caretaker. Cozy. Hi. I can... She's in her cage. I was in the kitchen. So you got to put her in a cage. Oh, nice. <clears throat> so the birds have not flown the coop yet. <laughs> and then we have the ever delectable, wonderful, uh, delectable. Oh no, delectable. I don't want to hear another. I don't want to hear oh, another yeah. guy calling me delectable. No, You're no. delectable. Yeah, you know. No, uh, okay, okay. He calls pineapple and pizza delectable. Is that better? The ever oh, wonderful. No. Mostly positive, never negative, always happy, jolly, and is more happy than Santa Claus, Cerebral Paul. Uh, no, no, no. So much no in there. That's so much. Uh, jo I, no, I don't. Jolly? I've never been called jolly either because no. <laughs> yeah. No. When I laugh, my belly does not shake like a bowl full of jelly. It just, no. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Yeah, no, I uh, I thought it might. You know, you never know. Like, no, no. Uh, have you have you tried? Did you make sure? No. <laughs> positive. No, so I, you're positive I'm, on this. I'm pretty positive. Yeah, pretty positive. Yeah, pretty positive. Pretty passive. Pretty prep. Pretty. Pre mm. Okay. Uh, yeah. And I'm just changing Can I start the... on shit? Can I start on shit? I'm just curious. I'm, I'm ready. I'm just... Aren't we all? <laughs> Literally, my entire being is about... Starfield, right? Everybody is excited for Starfield. We all want it to come out. But we have a thumbnail with a baby crying. And there are reasons for that. Because everything seems to be going wrong. For everything positive right now. When is anything ever going right? It never is. So welcome to another fine episode of 4GQ TV. Tonight we're going to talk about what is going on with Netflix. What is going on with Starfield Reviews. And is Funko Pop in trouble? First and foremost, I'm going to let the man of the hour, who's always jolly, talk about... Cozy? Oh, <laughs> no, jolly old St. Paul. Um, talk yeah. about <laughs> that was good. I like <laughs> oh, that should be your new nickname, <laughs> Jolly Old St. Paul. Um, no, uh uh. So, can you, Paul, do you know about the uh things that might be going on with Starfield? What do you mean, as far as oh, you mean the the the, the people are planning a basically a big. Uh, flame, flaming down of uh, trying to downgrade Starfield even before it launches, apparently. For creating multiple accounts just so they can give it bad reviews and oh, stuff. God. So, <laughs> did the birdie scare you? No, no, she bites oh. <laughs> the, the cables. Ah. See, that's why you need to go wireless. See, then that problem goes away. See? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you win. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so it's going to be... Uh, Hopefully they, um, like the sites like Metacritic, they watch for stuff like that. Hopefully they'll keep a curb on it. You know, sometimes you think they're trying, but other times you think they just let it go because they like the uh, the traffic it pulls, you know. But uh, we'll see what happens. I actually have flat out asked one of the guys that's saying he's creating like multiple, like thousand accounts 
or, you know, get ready for the review bomb. This was getting even for what you guys do to us. I'm like, I asked him and I haven't blocked him yet. I said, why, why, why are you doing this? This is, you know, what's your reasoning behind this? He hasn't answered me yet. He probably won't. I'll probably end up being blocked for it because it's a legitimate question. Why do stuff like that? Why go out of your way to badmouth a game that one, you're probably not going to play. And, and two, just to get, get the other people who cares, you know, and what's funny is some of these people that are going to review them are going to end up playing the game. They're just not going to tell their friends because they'll lose friends. Oh my God, you played that crap. You know, and they're going to be having fun doing it too. Yeah. So, so it's going to be interesting. I, I think any review bomb on any side to any game is stupid. I, I think it's a waste of time. If you don't have a legitimate, there's a difference between if I, if I play something and I don't like it and, or parts of it, and I legitimately post something that says, Hey, here's what I like. Here's what I don't like. But to go in and go, this game is crap. Right off the bat. I think we just had our first error on stream with Rumble. No! Yeah, I think the stream cut out for whatever reason. There's some Uh, type of... Yep, stream looks frozen. No! I started it back up, so hopefully it starts back up. No! Did it, but Paul, let me know if it starts back up. If not, we'll just have to create a new one. Uh, okay, I'm looking. Paul is looking. Paul is looking. Yep, uh, looks like we're back. We're back. Yes, we were frozen, Stinky. It said Yay. something with an encoder error. Hopefully, it's gone now. I don't know if it will be gone, but hopefully, it is. Um, anyways, we are back. So Cozy yeah. just gave her response while we were frozen. And Cozy, would you like to reiterate that response for our oh. viewers? I don't care about reviews. I don't think I've ever like looked at people and been like, oh man, you know, I need a review. I might, you know, look at people for suggestions for games, but if I want to try a game, I'm going to play it of its own merits. I've never even been to Metacritic. Mm, that's fair. Mm. I mean, that's a fair take, right? Like some people just don't care about reviews at all um, and don't even waste their time to post a positive or negative review. And that's fine with me, too, because I think that every game should just be enjoyed. I, I kind of miss the days when we had a Game Pro magazine or EGM or Nintendo Power and that was like where we got our reviews from. And it just seemed like the press back then was more authentic. Cozy, I don't know if you remember those days. Um, Finn, those were, I'd have to get those from the library. Uh, I don't know if they have them in the library. But I will tell you this. Uh, so it depends on the library. Some libraries do, actually. They, yeah, no, that's what I was saying. I'd have to get them from the library. It was, I mean, those were the honest days of reviews. Like, you know, they, they well, got... Well, the, uh, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. Oh, here we, here we go. Even even then, the, some <laughs> of the companies would, would pay for good reviews. We just, we just do less. It was not unheard of. <laughs> yeah. Well... We just saw less of it in our faces. Yeah. Paul is schooling me right now. This is yep. clowns, you That's are wrong. Paul is old and remembers those days. Some of the some of the publications that are still around got in some serious trouble for doing pay for play type stuff. Paul, you still have a CB radio on AM frequency. I wish. I, I you know, I, 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 when I grew up, I had a CB radio in my room, man. Uh, you know. Getting rid of I, w- I, I, I wish probably. the Fonz back then, yeah. The Fonz? Was that, was that your CB the nickname, Fonz, yeah. the Fonz? That was my handle, yep. Wow. 10 for good buddy. Yeah. 10 for good buddy. Yep. So, I mean, that's it on the Starfield <laughs> thing, you know. Um, I, I, that's what I think. It's not um, it. That's it's what, not it. I, I, I would suggest to our, our listeners that if they are following anybody who openly review bombs and says, hey, look at what I'm doing, block them. Don't, don't give them, don't give them the air. Don't give them the oxygen. You know, if they're going to do that, they, they don't deserve to be followed or watched. I do agree with that. Even though I don't care about reviews, I'm like, but why? I agree with like, it's like, mm. yeah. 
Yeah. Well, um, we beat that topic already. That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Here, hang on. Yeah, it does that. I don't like it when I do that. Yeah, not sure what's going on. Are, are you are you blinking away from it for any reason that it might be? I wonder if I'm trying to stream in 4K and don't realize it. All right, it's back again. It's back. I lowered the the kilobytes per second or um, the twenty five hundred instead of five thousand. It seems like any time I bring up my browser, it freezes. So we'll try not to do that as much. But um, so NBA two K twenty four fans are upset after two K announces a paid season passes. Um, it's set to launch December eighth, bringing some big changes. Pro play technology uh, lets developers capture real world NBA games and translate that data directly into the game. Yada yada. Um, that part's cool. I gotta say that part is cool. The pro that pass it's actually. Yeah. No. All right, everyone. We are back again. This is there's maybe Rumble's doing some upgrades in the background. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I'm why not, not g- do that in the middle of the day? Why not? You know, it's a good time <laughs> to do that. You know, yeah, it probably is. Little... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't have an explanation, but this doesn't happen on YouTube <laughs> to us. So, <laughs> uh, I will say that the pro pass for ten dollars or whatever. I think that's what the price was. I can't go back and look now because I can't use my browser. It seems to affect <laughs> everything in the long run. I don't know why, but. Anyway, because your computer's a potato. Oh. No, it's not. It's not a potato, Paul. It's not a potato. <laughs> potato <No>. computer. <laughs> no. But it's, you know, I, I don't play NBA 2K, so. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't affect me. I don't care. No, no, no. That's. <laughs> Paul, talk about it. Can you bring it up on your browser? Because I. I am. I'm working on it. I gotta find the link and find the. Uh, information. I don't know. So, hang on. How do you feel about so it? Let me, yeah. well, so Paul. I can say, you know, this is this is basically it reads like because I did look over it. It kind of looks just like um, the um, the whole season pass idea. The fact that NBA 2K has 2K hasn't been doing this, and you know, this is something that EA does to us all the time. You know, milk us for money. So <laughs> I can see why there's an issue because you know they. 2K was the company that didn't do that. And now they're going to start doing that because I have a funny feeling that this won't be the last game they do it with. They're going to do it with all their other sports games as well. You know? So, I mean, it, it, it it's a bad sign. I, you know, it's a, uh, the way of the world though. And as long as people are going to play pay, they're going to keep doing it. And we can say, you know, well, people shouldn't pay, but we're not going to be able to stop the hundreds of thousands of people that are going to do it. Let me see. I'm, I'm. I think it's a good idea. You know why? Because either you, you know, I honestly think I actually enjoy companies finding ways to milk people and people just, you know, complaining and then just accepting and acquiescing, especially when it's like something that they don't have to participate in. Um, I enjoy like I don't know, I guess seeing it. Like, I mean, yes, it's awful, but I feel like it's going to be a success. So if it's going to be a success, you know, why not do it? Why not get as much money out of your person, as pe- of uh, your customers as you can? Okay. That's, pro- that's just business. Smart business. Okay. Paul loves to pay for things. Yeah. Like that upcharge in pineapple for pizza. They can downcharge that crap. <laughs> he has a dead <laughs> pineapple next to him. Um, Damn. Pay what? me to pay me to have to pay me to eat that crap on a regular basis. Well, that's Aww. an interesting take, Cozy. Um, what the fans complain okay. is kind of like what your take is. Uh, yeah, if the fans aren't complaining and they're just buying it. Then why wouldn't you? If you could 
make as much money as possible off people and just like continue to just do things, increase costs and like make things more expensive for them. And it was something that they didn't have to purchase, but they, you know, then why wouldn't you? Mm. Why? Absolutely not. It's smart. It's the smart thing to do. No, it's a balancing act because if you do it too much, you're going to, you're going to lose your customer base. I mean, and it also depends on what they get for that, for that, you know, 10 bucks, comparatively 10 bucks isn't that much compared to most season passes. But what are you, what are you going to get for it is the question, you know, you know, what, you know, if it, you know, is it going to give you, you know, if it's, hopefully it doesn't give you, you know, the, it doesn't, it's not pay to win. It doesn't give you stuff that actually makes the game easier or you better at the game. Yeah, yeah, you know, cosmetics are okay, but if it if it turns into pay to win, there's an issue, because then you're putting everybody in a position where if they want to be competitive, they have to pay for it, and that's not cool. That's where you lose people. I mean, true, you can lose people if it doesn't work out, but you know what you're gonna. But at that price, you have a lot of people that are like it's only ten dollars. People that'll like be like, oh, this sucks, but it's only ten dollars. Again, it's gonna depend on what it. I I can't find the article, so because I can't find a link, so um, so it's gonna depend on what that ten dollars gives the player. You know, it's the first link in our DM under topics. I could. Oh, is it okay? Because I looked under this there. One of those games people buy every year. It is. I can't imagine the kind of people that just like shell out for pretty much the same game every year wouldn't be willing to throw additional ten dollars for a season thing. Your bird is even protesting. Oh, let's see. At the time of this writing, we don't know much about all, all the new season passes will look like. So yeah, at the time of the art, they don't they don't know what it's going to include. So we really don't have a lot of information on it. You know, is it going to give them access to players that they would norm or parts of the game that they would normally have to you know grind through to get to? You know, you know, it depends. But you know, like you said, ten bucks isn't too much. But still, to me, it's going to depend on what you get. Do you buy the game every year, though? Are you one of those? No, no, not everybody buys the game every year. I mean, not everybody. But it doesn't have numbers that they can keep pumping it out every year. I mean, and that's another, well, that's another one of my complaints. Things like this or like EA Sports games, they instead of pumping out a new game every year, they should just pump out, you know, uh, new, new uh, player rosters and stuff. That I'd be willing to pay for instead of paying instead of seventy bucks a year, I'll pay and I'll pay fifteen twenty bucks a year for updated rosters and some other things like that. And then every three or four or five years, you do a whole new version to upgrade the technology and make the game better. You know, just, that 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 to me would be you know more consumer friendly, as it were. I one hundred percent agree with you. That would be the ideal. And you know, but the thing is, you know. If you're not like one of the people that if you look at it that way, you're not going probably going to be one of the people that, you know, this is targeted to. This is targeted to, you know, that person that just picks it up every year and like it's just what they play because that's what they do. They're not going to necessarily look at like a 10 extra dollars and be like, oh, man, I mean, I bet if it was more than 10 dollars, there would be a lot of fuss. But. 10 extra dollars. What's ten extra dollars? Isn't the game seventy already? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. For me, the difference between seventy and eighty dollars looks like a lot. Feels like a lot too to my pocketbook. So you know. <laughs> oh no! I want like I, I'm just saying this is for people that you know are designed to be. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back. Sorry about that cut out again. <laughs> but we were streaming in 2K, and I think this only takes 1080p. So I think they were probably cutting. Maybe they just have a bandwidth limiter. I don't know. Maybe they were cutting us off. But to everybody who stuck around, thank you. Sorry for that freeze there. Uh, we were in an in-depth conversation. Cozy, do you remember where you were at? Oh, I was just saying, like, if you're milking people, you might as well. You know, that's what this is about. This is about trying to be like, how much money can I get out of these people? 
Okay. That's like the whole, and yes, while well, I wouldn't buy into it, and Paul wouldn't buy into it, there are plenty of people. At least that not would. for this. Hey, look, I, I will freely admit I buy the, 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 the quote season pass upgraded version of Forza and of Starfield. Hey, what can I say? But those are things I know I'm going to enjoy. I'm going to play. I'm going to, you know, and, and uh, you know, so, you yeah. Know. But, uh, but like I, I said, it comes down to what, it, see, we don't know yet. Like I said, the article says we don't know what, what it's going to include or what it's actually going to look like. So that's, you know, that's what I'm going to be waiting on, you know. I, in general, don't play, of all the sports games, I, I don't play basketball and I don't play soccer, football, um, because I can't play those games that well. Now, like Madden or NFL-type football, sure, I'll play those all day. But soccer and and uh, hockey and basketball, I've never been able to get, really get a grip on any of those games to really play them and enjoy them in a video game. So, you know. Yeah, I don't like sports at all, so... So well, we'll see what happens. We'll have to wait for more information. Really, I mean that's what it comes down to. All right, guys. Well, one of our biggest topics, and you may be shocked about this, or maybe you're not shocked whatsoever, or maybe you just don't care about this. But I am always sad to see an error of bygones, and that is Netflix is officially ending their DVD subscription service. I thought did, they already did that. Nope. No. They actually still have it around. Yeah, but I have a friend who still does it. I have a friend who still does it. So Paul, they, do they know what year it is? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I wonder. Do they have a regular DVD player or a Blu-ray player? Uh a regular DVD. He does not do Blu-rays. Wow. He has a massive collection of stuff that he's going to watch when he retires. It, that's very interesting. All in DVD. <laughs> um, but there's one cool thing about this ending. Do you guys know what that is? What? Hey, they're sending out everybody who's still a member or for some reason becomes a member of the home DVD. Uh -huh. They will get the way they will get 10 DVDs sent to them. Oh, as, cool. As long as supplies last, they said. As long as supplies last. So I can't imagine a lot of people are still DVD subscribers. And, and I can almost guarantee you it won't include the DVD cases. Probably not. Um, Maybe some Teletubbies in there. <laughs> because if you've ever gotten, if you've ever been part of the, the Netflix thing, you know, they send you the DVDs in the uh, envelopes. They don't actually send it to you in, in the cases. So yeah. they're probably not going to take the time to put the DVDs that you've asked, selected in back in a case. They, I, I don't see them doing that. You know, they're just going to go, Oh, you want these 10? There you go. Put those in the mail. Gone. You know, <laughs> I'm just going to say, I, um, you guys, uh, if you're still on DVDs, um, I don't know. I guess because of where I live, Netflix just seems like a ridiculous option if you're still on DVDs because it's not like the library doesn't have a much larger collection. Yeah, that's a good point. A lot of people do not realize that libraries carry DVDs, Blu-rays, and video games. It got silent here. It does. I mean, they do. Well, yeah. I I have to say that uh, Netflix may have some titles that the li that local libraries don't, or at least they used to, um, because they they have titles going back literally decades. You know, um, that if some of them are hard to find. Um, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, um, you know, and it is cool that you can go to library, and if you're if you really want to rent a DVD via the library, that's okay. You know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm just saying you're not necessarily going to be out of options if you're still on right. DVDs. And I found because I used to have a pretty pretty decent sized DVD collection, and sometimes I miss it because I like having oh I want to watch this and I can go grab it. And now it's uh, oh I want to watch this. It's streaming anywhere that I have access to currently. 
you know, yeah. and nine times out of nine times out of ten, that one title that I really want to watch right now isn't streaming anywhere unless I want to pay for it. You know, it's like, ah, oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's how it is. Um, I don't know. I um, I have just the movies that I really love, yeah. but uh. The, the, I don't know. I guess I live in a place where the library has like such a large collection, and even better, uh, they occasionally do this thing where they they sell. They have these library sales where they will sell like old um, DVDs when they get like the newer versions or whatever. Hey, I just want a copy of Stray for the Xbox on the Xbox Ambassador channel. Whoa. Oh, nice! Congratulations, <laughs> Paul. So thank you. Yeah. The only sound effect I got, I think, is happy birthday. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's happy birthday. Actually. Oh, no. Hold on. There you go, Paul. There you go. <laughs> I'm applause for you, man. Congratulations. Yep. Thank you. Which is actually really cool. I have played it on the PlayStation, and I, I kind of wanted it on the Xbox, but I couldn't, I couldn't uh, you know, validate the cost. So yeah. it's kind of cool that I get to play. Cause, yeah. Sorry, cool. the, the crickets. The, crick, the yeah. crickets are going nuts. <laughs> yeah, they're going nuts. Uh, yeah, no. You know, I just think that if somebody was to rush and sign up now for this DVD subscription, first of all, I don't know if the price is worth it. They probably did jack up the price uh, like everything else they did throughout the years. So it is probably more expensive. We're gonna have PK. They did, but 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 if if I had access to like to look at the library to see what's available, and yeah. I could see okay, this one's hard to get. I can't find this one in a store, and I could find ten DVDs that for signing up for one month for like fifteen bucks, gonna give me ten DVDs that I can't find in the stores. Absolutely, things like um, Wise Guy are hard to find. Things like you know there are some older TV titles that are very hard to find for. For a decent for a decent price anyway, without going through eBay. You know. So um I could see how it could be worthwhile if you wanted to take the time and really dig through their stuff and see what's available. But for the most part, no. For the most you know. Yeah. Well hi, I th- hi, hi, hey, how are everybody doing? What's up, PK? Welcome to welcome to the episode. PK is live with us. Uh, through voice chat here, you guys can hear them. Uh, we were just talking yep. about Netflix and in their DVD subscriptions, and how if you sign up now, you could be selected to randomly get ten free DVDs. Um, which I meant, I, I still think the price should probably to go up. But knowing Paul's luck, the DVDs he would get would be How to Cook Pineapples on Pizza, oh, Pineapple geez. Pineapple Cooking, you know, cooking shows. Pineapple ah, drinks. Hey, hey, don't forget, you know, who lived in a pineapple under the sea? Uh, yeah. Bob what pants? <laughs> he would also get some Teletubbies that had a pineapple in their yeah. episode. I, I, I see Paul getting the old John Wayne movies. That's it. Hey, you know me so well. Wow. I watch those well, quite often. Listen actually. this, man. He just comes in and wrecks it. He's like, yeah, Paul, you're mm. going to get the John Wayne. So you're going to get the good stuff, Paul. Yeah, that's right. I just watched El Dorado the other night. I got to say, you know. Hey, hey, Paul. Yo. You're looking kind of good, man. It's getting thick. <laughs> oh, yeah. He got a new nickname today. Hey. His what new nickname, nickname is St. Paul Jolly Claws. <laughs> nah, that don't work. <laughs> Pineapple yeah, Power Claus. Bomb. Look, it's, it's, you got to have Power yeah. Bomb. And you got to have Pineapple Paul. It don't work unless you have the three Ps. Uh, three peas. Three peas. Provolone, prosciutto, <laughs> and parmesan. Yes. There you go. No, PK <laughs> got silent. Listen, it's all good. Hey, look. You know if if they if they're gonna get three ten free DVDs, I'm going to record me using them as ninja stars, <laughs> throwing them at somebody. You could use Great. them as coasters. You know, there are well, cheaper like the, ways the, uh, to get DVDs to use. The, the, like the, I know, the, but but they're special because they were given, and I could say, "Hey, 
The 10 free DVDs from Netflix, Ninja Stars. Let's go. That's right. right. That's like the people who used to, you know, they get the DVDs from uh, America Online, and they did. They used them as coasters and stuff. I actually had a friend who had a whole stack of them, and that's what they were for. These were the coasters. Didn't I see somebody make a necklace out of them or something? Yeah, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) Because you'd get, like, one a week every once in a while. It's like, really? Did you guys bring up um, the, the... That that article where that dude uh, he says that they made all them fake uh, accounts so they can review bomb Starfield. Yeah, we talked about. You go ahead and give your take on that. Yeah, you yeah, can, go ahead and give your take on it. I I know that you're not going to be playing uh, PlayStation, right? You're not going to try to what? play uh, Starfield through YouTube on PlayStation. What's the best How way dare you? It? How <laughs> dare you accuse me of not playing games? Uh, I play games. I got, I got the um, what's that raggedy game? I got uh, uh, Ratchet and Clank right now. It's not raggedy. It's a good game. Hey, that's my perspective. All right. I don't uh, like the fact that I'm playing the game and then every two minutes is there in cutscene. I'm sick of that. Let oh. me play the darn game. Yakuza. Oh wait, no different. <laughs> not Yakuza. Yakuza, not Yakuza. Yakuza, you walk around for a long time and do stuff. Then you get the hour-long cutscene. Well, some of those are really good cutscenes. So. Yeah, I, I know. It's just I don't have the patience for sometimes because I want to play the game. I know, <laughs> but you don't have you don't have you don't have much time for nothing because you're done with it. That's you know, right. been there, been there, and done that. I get it. I'm just saying. <laughs> if the game just started and I and I've sat there and watched the ten minute cutscene, now I get to play. Let me play. Yep. That's like part of the experience, duh. That's not the experience I want. That's right. Well then take play a choose your own adventure. I want to. That's why I want to play Starfield. So I can choose my own adventure. Mean, That's mean, why I wanted mean. to play Starfield because it's something modern and it ain't Ain't fantasy old school Barter's Gate kind of stuff. I'm sick of that. Hey, but let me just say, for the fools out there who are so emotionally disturbed that they would go make a hundred fake accounts just to give this game a bad score, you guys need to get therapy. I keep telling y'all, it is not against the law for you to own more than one console. But and it's not against law to have Game Pass, where but, you don't even have to own a console. That doesn't give you attention. Just being like, yeah, I'm going to play this game. But is, I mean, do you really want this attention, though? That's the thing. These people, Bad attention is better than no attention. Is it? Yes. You, or you wouldn't see so many people with, like, dumb hot I don't tape. know. I, maybe I'm just weird like that, Cozy. I like to be left alone. I don't want nobody um, bothering me. Here's a, you see how many people have weird, dumb takes about things? Like, absolutely dumb. Like, that's I, because yeah. they, bad attention is better than no. It's attention. because Paul didn't teach him anything. It's that's his right. job. Uh, He's been around longer yeah. than anybody. Uh, you know what? That's because, you know, they didn't pay attention in class, you know? It, you supposed to you supposed to take him out back like the old, <laughs> old days. No, no. He, Paul is Santa Claus. He's a nice guy. Uh, He's no, he, he he's, homie, he's like homie the clown. He's, no. he's like homie the clowns. <laughs> I, I don't play that. He's <laughs> actually, the likable. He's, like, well, he's like the one from that movie Rare the, the, the funny thing is, no, when I was working with kids and stuff, I am much closer to homie the clown. <laughs> Paul, do you, those two words should not be in the same sentence together. Yes, What's it that? is. Yes, it is. Hey, Paul, this, you can give clowns a new nickname. No. Homie the clown. <laughs> Homie the clowns. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Get, get, I'll get, get him a get him a get him a loaded sock to bop people with. No. Homie, don't play that. <laughs> yeah, don't play that. We should get we should get graphic guy to make him a meme. What? Just there you go. <laughs> <laughs> make him a little animated thing so we can smack down uh, things. I don't uh, homie don't yeah. play that. <laughs> well, real quick while um you brought that up. Shout out to Graphic God, aka Retro Renegades, who's in the chat right now. Um, Retro Renegades channel does need some more subscribers so that they can live stream 
on Rumble, which would be a perfect tone for Retro Renegades, by the way. The topics, everything would be perfect for Rumble. Um, so hit that link uh, if you can. Maybe even do it in a separate window and go ahead and subscribe to them uh, over there. I'm on there and Paul's on there as well. So it'd be a lot of fun if you did that and we can get away with more shenanigans on Rumble. Shenanigans? shenanigans and if i ever want to live stream on rumble i need you to follow me over there too so i can <laughs> i love shenanigans yeah they have uh, great food over there lot, 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 lots of flair did y'all, did y'all get excited to see that trailer for the ninja turtles dlc they showed karai and is launching on the 30th finally gave us a release date i did not see that i did not cool. see that either but that i'm more worried about achievements Clown, stop. Okay, doesn't matter. <laughs> it's a great game. They the added new the characters, new part. modes, new things to do. It was one of the best indie games of last year. And guess what? We have more content. That's what. Uh, it's, what it is a great for? game. It's a beautiful game. Why would you play it if there weren't any more achievements? Exactly. Because Thank I like you, having Cozy. fun. Thank I, you. I, I, it's a dead me, game. No, stop it, Cozy. We're not doing this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I've never uninstalled the game. It's been on my Xbox and on my PC since I bought it. And you have never it on Steam too, it. right? I don't have it on Steam. I bought it on Xbox. I wish I had it on Steam. So, now that I think about it. Mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes I do that. Don't judge me either. People better not be judging me. Hey, you know, there are some games I have on like three or four different services. I swear to God, over the last few years. Sometimes you just <laughs> like it, like something so much you got to play it multiple times somewhere else. Well, and, and in my case, a lot of times like Epic Store gives away free games every month and so do some of the other stores. And if you watch them, all of a sudden you, I've got it on Xbox, I've got it on Epic, I've got it on Steam. Oh, you're just going to sit here and flex and just tell everybody you just no, get it just, don't be cheating, bad. Paul. You the cheat everything. Is, no, this heart. is why you keep winning. <laughs> and I can't win nothing. I can't even get a mention. But oh, you keep winning. Straight. And I don't understand how the mysterious algorithm always works for Paul. Yeah, because the rest of my life sucks. So I got to well, win it's something. Because so. what, <laughs> it's because what Retro Renegade said in the chat, a.k.a. Graphic God, he says, why does Paul look like Ash from the Evil Dead after he slept too long and woke up in the future? Exactly. Hey, man. What it is. They're probably hey, like, hey, that's wow. Ash from the hey, Evil Dead. Hey, graphic guy. I, he's, got he's got that distinguished. He's got that distinguished beard, man. Got to let, <laughs> got to let him have it, no, man. Santa, he's just got the Santa Claus beard. I don't. Yeah, that that is the beginnings of the Santa Claus beard. I like it. Yeah. Soon he's gonna wake up and he's gonna be like Tim Allen hey, from the Santa hey, Claus. Paul, let, ho, ho, let, ho. It, let it grow what full, man. Say? Candy can. Ho, ho, ho. That's going to be Paul. I bet, I bet you Except kids will respect you more. They'd be like, oh, really? That's Santa? Yo. Yeah. Like, ho, ho, pineapple. Remember, if you, if you remember from last year, I do have the suit. I do have the red suit, the hat. And everything. He's going to cosplay. And then, and then Cozy, a cosplay is that as your, as your Santa's little helper, her little elf. And well, then, no, you know. Uh, C- Carlo could be the elf. He'll just be, you know. <laughs> well, that too. He, I, thought, yeah. I thought he could be the gnome. The lawn gnome. The lawn gnome. Yes. Yeah. I could cosplay as a lawn gnome, actually. I could get away with that. I'm going to, uh, no, I'm going to, I want to be a, help an elf just so I can start an elf rebellion. Uh, so you name, gotta... Hang on. The name of the game that's being played right here, this is actually a game where we spoke to one of the people who worked on the game. Uh, I can't remember the name of it either. Um, uh, I can fell. I can fell. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, I don't even remember the name of this game. Because you gotta make you gotta make some of those weird cookies too. You know how you got these weird recipes? You make it you make some cookies out of plants. Ketchup cookies. And leaves oh. and stuff. Yeah. Ketchup cookies. Oh, and uh to fully answer Jay's question, why do I look like uh cause yeah, hail to the king, baby. Okay, I'm just you know <laughs> Wait, that's Elvis. Ketchup no. cookies. No, that's that's Ash from the Evil Dead. Hail to the King, baby. So, um, I'm going to just put it out there. I pre-ordered uh, Armor Core because I'm ex- super excited for this game. You clowns don't care. I just want you to know he does not care that I love Armor Core. Uh, and just so you know, I haven't received a code yet. But Me okay. neither. So, 
so. <laughs> Me neither. I don't know what that's like. What about unarmored core? Wait, that's, you just wanna yo, run the, I gotta and take that people? off camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, take that off camera. You gotta go offline. I got on armor for here. <laughs> Stinking ass oh. cozy if she makes unique cookies. I I'll make uh I'll make ketchup cookies. What the heck is a ketchup cookie? It's a cookie with some ketchup in it. Oh no. I don't even no you know, uh uh-uh. uh when you said that I thought you meant a hamburger, but No that's, just that's gross. I can't that's <laughs> Absolutely I don't know. Disgusting. That might be a little bit too much for me. <laughs> God. I uh, thought you'd be like some banana. Oh, no. Stinkin's no, asking if you make what a, about a ketchup oregano icing? Cookies. Why yeah. is that? Oh, ketchup. No, no. I'll make some oregano cookies. What's up with you and ketchup? What's going on? The closest thing to ketchup icing goes it, meatloaf. You know, when you have a meatloaf and you put what? it on the top and that's, you bake it that's in. That's not icing for meatloaf. That's the uh, nest. Yes. Uh, oh. yes. Yes, no. ketchup is icing for meatloaf. You can actually, do ketchup yeah. or barbecue sauce. It don't matter. Yeah. I actually don't oh. like it with barbecue sauce. What? I prefer barbecue sauce, but you know. I like barbecue sauce everywhere else but meatloaf. What are we even talking about here? Gr- growing hey. growing, up, growing hey. up poor in my family was ketchup, man. I'm sorry, Carlo, but you know. I told you, my Italian mother couldn't cook for shit, okay? I'm lucky hey. I didn't starve to death. You know? It's a- <laughs> I mean, we just made things up. I didn't even know barbecue sauce would taste good. We just didn't have ketchup. We just had the barbecue sauce. And guess what? It worked out. It was, I was like, all right. That, that was right. pretty good. That's right. Um, I agree with Stinkin here. He likes barbecue sauce and meatloaf. I think barbecue sauce is great on meatloaf. I, ketchup's okay on meatloaf. I would not call it icing on meatloaf. because it Well, is. no. Be, be, well, usually it's when you paste. put when you put, when you put it on, you put it over the top. Yeah, so this is it's like this baked on or something. It's Paul like paste. Yeah. Paul from the Evil Dead. Yeah. There you go. Wait a minute. So, outside of Starfield, what is the biggest game or what is the games that should be getting some sort of accolades this year? Anybody tell me. I think Baldur's Gate is going to do well. Um, it seems to be getting picking up a lot of press, positive and negative, but a lot more positive. Um, so I think Baldur's Gate. I think what Diablo is probably going to do really well as well this year. Um, other than those two big ones and Starfield coming, really, out, that's all you got. Uh, Forza will probably do well. Yeah, Forza is going to do well, but. It's, I'm just thinking of what's out right now. I'm, I'm not thinking about. Well, I did say Starfield. I'm not thinking. Cozy, too you far always got there. some 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 hidden gems somewhere in your pocket where your birds sleep. So where so, where do you say? So my game. So I don't know, like because I don't I don't really have that conversation because I know the games I'm interested in, but they might not be the games like I have no interest in. Um, I'm interested in what you interested in. I, I ain't thinking about nobody. Uh, what do you? One of the games I'm most interested in is, um, I hope it still comes out this year. It's getting late and I'm getting scared. Broken Roads. Broken Roads? I've seen that game. I didn't even play it. It's not out yet. Oh, I know I've seen it somewhere. They, the, the dev probably posting some stuff. No, they do have that at the um, Xbox thing where they had all those... Uh, Indie games that wasn't out yet. You can uh, try. I think the, oh, the Broken Roads is PC only. Well, okay. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. But I know I've seen it. Is it on Steam? Yeah. Is it advertised? Um, I don't know. I just wish this didn't call the day. They have. A, they do have a what you call it for. It is a turn-based game, but I don't. I'm cool with that. It's a post-apocalyptic Australia. Oh, that sounds. Cool. Is it like is it is it like West? What's that one game? Um, what Weird West or? Not Weird West. I played Wasteland? that game. Wasteland. Is it like yeah, that? it's closer and it's closer to like Wasteland, but not really necessarily. Uh, what do you call the style of Wasteland? Uh, like, um, actually, it's PC and console, according to the. 
It's called um, tac- uh, Strategy RPG or something like that. Strategy? It's like RPG? Gears Tactics. It's tactical RPG or something. Something like that. Where it's turn-based, but, you know, stuff happens. Yeah. So, yeah, like XCOM and stuff like that. that yeah. Kind of, yeah. Um, it's like Strategy but, RPG. But, but it, it, uh, looking at the website, it does say uh, for PC and console. He so says Evil West. Consoles. I got Evil West. I hundred percent that game. Nice. Up oh, uh, in development for PC, Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox, and is scheduled for release in twenty twenty three. So, so graphic guy, that's all he got is Evil West. Evil West. Okay, so it is one. What you call it? Oh, what's that game that came out too? Wasn't it this year? Graph. We all played it early on in the year. The Evil Dead game that came out. That was a, that was fun with friends. I still have that game. I want to play that more. I like. Evil that Dead. Game. Yeah, the you're Evil Dead game. You talking about the one where it's got the man with the chainsaw on his arm? Yeah, that's the Evil Dead. That's Ash. That's yeah, the I own one that, that Graph says I look like. That's the one that Graph says I look like. An older version. I, I suck at him. that game though. I can't beat one chapter. <laughs> I can't beat one chapter in that game. I keep I dying. The, I, I just beat gave the first up. chapter in beta. I beat the first chapter in beta. I, I played the multiplayer, but I keep I'm not good at it. <laughs> you I give my hat off to anybody that can whoop that game because I suck at it. That's okay. That's where you know people like me and, and Graf come in because we you know we're hey, we're good at you that. You can have it, man. I'm like, yo, I just, I'll just hold you back because man, I just don't know. It's like me. It's like me protecting you in Rogue Company or Overwatch. You know, I like asymmetric games, but I don't. I never seen none of those movies. I don't get what's going on. So when, when I open the chest and a little bitty man jump out on top and grab me. And I was yeah. like, what the hell is this? Oh, you oh you you're playing it. You've never seen any of the movies? Nah. Wow, dude. Oh yeah, you don't do scary, do you? Nah, it's, I mean I'll do it. I'll watch it, but it's not really my thing. It's not my go to. So I, I, I skip a lot of them. Not not yeah. like I say it's terrible, none, it's just not my go to, you know. If you if you want to do one that's just in the in one of those movies that but it's also kind of fun, Army of Darkness. Army of Darkness has the scary, gruesome. Was stuff, that the part two or something? Uh, two, yeah, I believe so. It, and it, but it's also got a lot of humor, lots of humor. That was the one that was more like a comedy, right? What's that? Yeah, that was yeah, because that one wasn't really scary. It was more like a comedy. Yeah, though it had its scary bits, but yeah, it. Uh, but yeah, the the first one is strictly just oh my god, this is terrifying. Uh, the second. So one what was the fun. what was the last one about? Uh, I didn't. I, I'm gonna get. Is that a reboot? Is it part of the series? Yeah, it, it's it's a it's a reboot more than anything. It's like part of the story, but it but it doesn't have to do with Ash. You know, it's uh, e- e- evil evil dead away uh, arise. Yeah, I didn't I didn't care for it personally, but that was just my take. I'll probably have to go back and watch it again to see if I you know missed something. I'm but surprised it, nobody said uh, High Five Rush, and. Mm-mm. Not for me. Well, see, the only reason those kind of get that game in particular didn't work for me is because I can't get pat- get very far into it because of accessibility. I cannot praise a game if I can't play it. You know, it's just watch me play it. <laughs> That's not as fun. Wow. That's wow. not as wow. fun. That's a accessibility solution. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah just- just oh, watch it oh it's okay for me to watch him play, but <laughs> but it's not okay for him to watch me play. So he can stream, and I gotta watch him play some games. That's right. Oh yeah, huh? you just now I, I really hope, the other way yeah, around. Now huh? I really hope I get that code for uh, for um for that game you want to play so bad. I'm gonna make you watch it. All right, watch this. Watch this. Check this out. You see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. That's how. You, <laughs> that's what you think of me. That's what I'm talking about. Jay Jay says he loved High Fi Rush. He beat it a few weeks ago. So he's I think he's on your side with High Fi Rush, PK. It was awesome. Yeah. It was a great ride. It was great. Too, it ride. was too musical for me. It's a lot of this and that. That was the whole idea of the game, you dork. What? <laughs> what? Clown. Animal Crossing has too many animals. That's the, 
That's like that's like playing Alien you know, Isolation if, and going. If I wanted you to know, play something that, if I wanted to see something like musical, I'd just go see Annie on Broadway. Yeah, uh, that's like playing Alien Isolation and going. I felt too isolated. I, I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I don't have no words for you clowns, but I will just say. At least you didn't say opposite, opposite man. man. What? Yes, opposite. What? Man. <laughs> you know what? Damn it, game, for giving me something that I can use in the game that is referenced <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> you, you may like it animated. A lot of people do like it, though. A lot of people love it. it is, it's a gem in there for a lot of people. You know, um, I think Star Wars did good, but it was it had technical issues. I thought the... Uh, I like Gotham The Harry Knights. Potter game was all right. Love Gotham Knights. Right. See, both, to me, both uh, Star Wars and Harry Potter should both at least get some kind right. of... And don't don't mention Gotham Knights, okay? We're going to put that in a box. Pretend I it never happened. It. I had fun with that game, man. Wow. You see how this is opposite? I'm, I'm being honest. I thought it was I know. I'm, I know you're being honest. You like the glitchiness and, and the, the characters not looking like they fit in the game and just running around and glitching and the game reset and it's loading forever and all that. I get it. That's your style. I ain't hate. But we know it is a far cry from the Arkham series. Raid, it's a far man. cry from the Ar Arkham series. Yeah, it is. It is a far cry from Arkham. From, I will yeah, give it, that. it It's it. Yeah, I will say that. Like, I liked Arkham a lot more, but I did enjoy Gotham Knights. I like playing as Batgirl. I don't always I, like playing as Batman. I'm tired of playing as this grumpy, rich, broody, annoying, complaining guy that relies. It sounds on like you. It sounds I, like I, you. I, I, I think. First of all, it sounds like you are. For hating, and that's not even Batman's description. Batman's yeah. like, Oh, Alfred, I just had a bad day. Why do you sound like you a um, little My jealous of the man? Jeez. Yeah. The writing in that game was excellent. They, in, they involved almost all the characters in his mythos. Listen, I didn't say that it wasn't excellent. I just said that I, know. I get tired. Like, if they make another Arkham style game, it should be Batgirl. Or Red Hood. Why? She's not even a major character. And, and she's Red not Hood? even Batgirl no, no more. Man. She is. She sits in a chair and does computer work all day. She yeah. is a receptionist. Well, well, wait, 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 wait. What's, wrong with, that? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? I okay. did not say Are there's you, nothing wrong you, with you, it. You're shaming the person in the wheelchair because all they do, they just sit there all day and they do desperate. Wait a minute. What? What? That girl's not in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, she is. Oh, she is not? Yeah, she is. Yeah, she. That, that's Oracle. When that's they, Oracle. That's Oracle. That, the current bad girl. That's Barbara. The, the current bad girl. Well, there's multiples, right? Depends on which one you're talking about. Signal or just... Depends right. on who you transfer into. But the point I'm making is the one you thinking about is not back. Nope. So nobody cares. Well, you know what people and, care about? And and, and and red and red hood cannot carry his own game. That's a totally sure different. he could. He's you know, enough. You know, why did Red Hood play better in Arkham Knight than he did in Gotham Knights? Yeah. Help me understand. <laughs> he was clunky as I don't know. Yeah, so <laughs> he felt like he was just floating. Like and sometimes when I was running, he, his legs didn't even move. He was just sliding across <laughs> the screen. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? Or how about yep. we had a game where you get to play as the Joker or the Riddler? You know? Why you do. And, and you do in uh, Injustice. Go at oh, it. Oh, that's a fight. Yep. Listen. That's a fighting game. It's nothing like. Oh, that. not now. He now he's moving the goalpost. Now post, you're moving it? the goalposts. Get him, uh, cozy. Yeah. You two must really love your pineapple. Oh, no, I'm pizza. not a Batman fan, so. Uh oh. Uh, it's okay. It's okay not to be a Batman fan, but it's not okay to hate on him because you <laughs> fantasize about being him instead. Cozy, you know. You, but you, just for the sake of what? the argument here and playing devil's advocate, can you just tell PK you like Batgirl? 
I do like Batgirl. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't say, but I didn't say you can't like Batgirl. I'm just saying, why you got to put down the man just for her? And her character. <laughs> you even say that they, about Harley Quinn, and she's she's. Oh, a, what you lose points for that? You know, that's crazy. Sorry, even not even Harley. in the TV not series, Harley. she was cool. Not Harley. Like, Sorry, not Harley. Mark, <laughs> look, at the end of the day, all these are side characters. You know what's crazy? You don't even you don't even get a chance to get to know the better ones like Punchline, like Ghostmaker. A oh, Punchline. You know what I, I mean? I like the fact that they they brought Punchline in. I like that fact. You don't even you don't even know clowns. You don't know. I got the issue where Punchline came in. Yeah, Joker's girlfriend. Okay, what happened in the issue? I didn't tell read us the story. It. He didn't read it. See, that's what <laughs> I was waiting for. Wait. Oh wait, yeah. Wait, what? I think it's cool he brought him in. I saw the cover. He looked cool. <laughs> right, me too, man. I like hey, hey, they put Jordan on the top of that cover too, man. He was yeah. He was in there too. Um, but you know, uh I do want to talk about something here, and I don't know if anybody else besides myself collect them. Pop Funkos. I honestly think that Pop Funkos are imploding and I think they might be in trouble. There's been a few cues over the last few months, starting in March, where there's been some signs of some trouble. Also, you notice Pop Funkos are so mass produced, you find them almost everywhere now. Um, they do look cool. They are neat. They, you know, they represent a lot of popular pop culture stuff. But they dumped thirty million dollars worth of Pop Funko in a landfill and wrote it off because. They had too much that they couldn't sell. Then, in July, they did massive layoffs to help reorganize the company and keep some revenue. Like twenty, It would help them with 20 to $22 million annual revenue and um, restructuring costs. And then, this past Friday, their stocks dropped 14%. Am I the only one that thinks that they could be in trouble and it's due to them mass producing and just putting themselves everywhere? No, they're they're falling into the same trap Beanie Babies did. I mean, you know, you know, probably gonna see some of you know some of what that about before. cabbage pest dolls or the troll or the trolls yeah. with the little diamond with the little jewels yeah. in the Treasure in their belly? What are they call yeah. Treasure Trolls. Yeah, wouldn't that gangster the little Little trolls with the I little. Think the difference is clowns. You got a jewel in your belly. The, the difference yeah. is um, what you call it? Targeted the those the the figures they targeted a different demographic. They were just designed to be like, here's your favorite thing. Let me sell you some crap, some plastic crap. I mean, obviously they're all selling plastic. I crap. thought the Funkos were for collectibles because I seen yeah. some imported. So I mean, I think. And and honestly, not to interrupt here, but is it is it because of the pandemic that kind of kind of messed them up a little bit? No, like if you're making something that's collectible, you know, eventually you're going to hit a point where people have what they want, and you have to expand out, and they're not rare or special. They're just yay! I'll get you know you can get but so many figurines to put in a place for most people. Now, I'll tell you, there's two ways that it could go, okay? Collectors at home that have probably collected so many of them. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not up there with some of these great collectors that have, like, rooms full of them. But I feel like if they were trying to dump them, they wouldn't get no more than what they paid for them right now, right? Because it just seemed like that the value is not there. There's a few rare ones that hold on to their value that I've seen but like even for example, my Toys R Us exclusive ones, they're worth exactly what I paid for them. Like they haven't gone up in value to be anything worthwhile. So there's that, right? Like on eBay, Amazon, and whatnot, they're not super valuable unless you have something rare. However, when you go to a convention, you find many vendors with Pop Funko figures filled to the brim, all competing with each other to sell them. There's a difference, though. There's smart vendors 
And then there's vendors that are just trying to dump their stock. The ones trying to dump their stock sell them anywhere for like 20 and below. Because people will pay $5 over price for, you know, 8 to, 8 to, okay, maybe not 5, but about $8 over price for it there. Then you have the, the uh, vendors that sell the Pop Funkos of the celebrities that are there, like the voice actors, and then they sell those for 25 45 because they know those voice actors are there. And somebody's going to be like, oh, hey, I forgot to bring my Pop Funko for home, and I want to get it signed, so I'm going to buy it from this guy for 45 That's smart. But the other vendors, I see a diminishing market value as more and more go to conventions, and everybody's like, hey, I just saw this Master Chief at 10 other vendors down there. Can you cut me a deal for $2? You know, I think it's eventually going to get to that point, right? Like, I just... I think that's the way it's going to go. The, the, it will, you know. Well, that's like with anything oversaturation. And I is think what they, call they it. don't that's, benefit yeah. from even at least be, uh, like a lot of these other products because pop, they, um, the, those figures, they exist just to be just for people that are like a thing. That's all they exist. They aren't toys for real. They're just a thing that you so like a lot of the reason like you know why certain toys and stuff became like you know rare and collectibles because they had collectibles but you also had the nostalgia built of like you know kids actually playing with them and they became rare because you know people did all sorts of things with them like kids would take them open them whatever they get a special one um whereas these they just they don't have the same sort of that and that's why they dump them in the landfill because it's junk basically it's junk well, no, they dumped them in a landfill because they wanted to take a credit, uh, um, a tax write off. So, so what, who's, the landfill who's landfill are we talking about? Whose backyard they took it? Probably the same one with the ET cartridges. <laughs> Those ET cartridges, man. There's um, ET cartridges. Where are they at? Now, you, you know that story, don't you, PK? No. Major the the 2600 ET cartridges. Yeah. They literally, there was a crappy game. They took. Hundreds of them and dumped them in a landfill. They found them a few years ago, actually. In that Mark. was hilarious because it was like, yeah, they talked about it for years about like the ET cartridges somewhere in a landfill. And they was like, oh, here's the landfill. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because for years, like it was just a thing that everyone knew that like, well, we didn't know if it was true, true, but it was like one of those strongly rumored things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. With people even inside the company saying that they believed it was dumped. Um, yeah. <laughs> so. I think we're going to see a market fallout with these pop funk goes uh, shortly. And then I think 10 years from now, all of a sudden somebody's going to come out of nowhere and be like, have a garage full of them or a storage, a couple storage units full. And all of a sudden they're going to become collectible for like five, six years, like beanie babies and be overpriced. And then they're going to die again, like beanie babies in price because beanie babies are worthless now. I think the thing is um, with the pop Funkos, the prop you, they're tied to the thing that's pop culture y liked. Um, and the price being consistent depends on people wanting that specific one for that specific thing. They're never all going to be valuable. A lot of them are just going to be like, you know, worthless. Sad times. Like a lot of them are tied to current trending nostalgia. Like not nostalgia, but current trendy thing I like. They're not tied to like a like any sort of lengthy. A lot of them aren't tied to any sort of lengthy thing that people are gonna probably look back fondly. They're like part of the whole thing where you know you make something fast and sell it as fast as possible, and, but you don't necessarily build that like. Met, like you know a long-term memories for a lot so yeah there'll be versions of them that are like what you call it, but if you have like a lot of them they're probably going to stay absolutely worthless no that's that's something like sad times though yeah PK? hopefully they'll 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 survive their restructuring and whatever it is they're doing you know i mean I'm, i would keep some of the ones i got just for decorations i don't collect them i can't I can't collect stuff like I used to. But I do like some, like, just to keep, man. I mean, so I don't really care if it goes up or down. If I, it's, it's really for me. Yep. I mean, 
What's the what's that one game that had a little figurine thing on it? What spiral? Which, spiral. It was a spiral game. They I'm had all little sure. collectible. They had all those little collectible things, and you put them, and they go in the game, and you could play with the clicks. The clicks. I mean, because I remember the like the DC the DC clicks. I remember Disney had the, the board where you could buy the different collect. The no, different it's, it was an act. It, it was spiral. Spiral started this mess, and then oh, and. It was like you get these figures, and, and some of them are rare. And then when you put them, it was kind of like Nintendo's version of the their Nintendo got some too. They they call them something else, but you they got the NFCs on the bottom. Oh, the amiibos. Yes, the Nintendo calls them amiibos, and it's the same I, idea, right? And Spiral did it where you you put the Skylanders. characters. Skylanders. There you go. Yep. Those things were going up in price too, man. Those things were going crazy. Yep. Yep. Disney, Disney had their version as well because I ended up paying a lot of money for some kids' version uh, yeah. of some of that stuff one year. Nintendo's, I know, theirs is they work across games. Like a yeah. lot of them will have stuff in various games. Skylanders was really just for Skylanders. Um, well, and- Skylander was, was, man, that was super crazy but um the difference between that is they didn't produce as nearly as many like basically there's like one of those funky old pop things for like everything like and nintendo didn't do that like skylanders didn't do that they weren't just like oh man people are into that today let's make now you have to produce some of these figures for it there's like you know so it, it, they don't feel they stop feeling they stop being like special like a while ago. They were just like, yeah, there's something for everything. If it's popular, it's going to get one. And I think that's also changes the way people perceive them because when, first they were like, is oh, it man. is it because of reprints? Not just reprints, just the you know they were cool because they weren't just for everything for every little thing. And then they just started becoming for every little thing, and they just started producing them because people were like, "Oh, I like this character from this thing that I watch." Well, you know, I think that's uh... well. Like if they if they come out with an Art the Clown Funko, I'm getting that probably the only Funko I ever owned. See, that uh... would be a cool one, but you know what? (laughs) I kind of don't think, even though Terrifier. Has done well. I kind of don't think it's popular enough. Uh, you would be mistaken. I, I would take a homie to clown <laughs> like one. Joe Bond just defended it like he no, knows. No, I get it. He's but got it's, the inside scoop. It's. It. I still don't think it's popular enough that you know you're you know it would be worth it for them to mass produce one that they could just sell. Do to they the, have? No, well, they could. They could. They could. They, they could limit. They could do a limited release, and then it becomes it stays and holds value because yeah. It, I'm going to take a look, see if they got one. I do not believe they do. I haven't seen uh, David or any of those guys. They might have one secretly. Well, see it secretly, but I haven't seen David or any of those guys. Because usually when the stuff is made with him on it, they, he posts it. So. No, but there are fans that try to make their own mimic of a... Right. Yeah. Yeah, they just stuck it in a box and made their own figure and... I guess they called it a day and said there was... See, I actually think it would have been better for them if they continued to just make limiteds. And I know people complain because it's like, oh, it's really hard to get limiteds. But when you just, like, mass-produce things... But that's how they hold their their value, is if it's limited, yeah. But they do have killer collapse from outer space. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Which is the best... uh, you know, best horror thing out there. Yeah. Yeah, right there with Juggernaut. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, Paul, now you're getting <laughs> it. Now you getting it. Well, but yeah, it would... Yeah, it'd be cool if they, you know, just if they hadn't just... Like, just, just kept making things because it's, like, super popular. And you'd be like, oh, look at this cool series that I really like. Instead of like five bajillion versions of like characters from that one thing. 
Well, everybody, we it's almost <coughs> time to get out of here. So I just want to thank everybody for watching, coming out, hanging out, and rumble with the thing. Time to skedaddle. What's that? Time to skedaddle. Yeah, time to. Get Carlos trying to figure out what that word means. Yeah. Like Paul is delectable. Um, yeah. <laughs> PK missed that. But anyway, uh -huh. I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Retro Renegades, Adam and Evil, Jago, Stinky Corpse. Uh, I believe Mike stopped by as well. Uh, he was in here. Um, so thank you everybody for coming out, hanging out with us. Thank you for the new subscribers on Rumble. Uh, thank you for all the people watching because I know we had more people watching than that was just in chat. But always feel free to chat with us. We'll always answer you no matter what your opinion is. Doesn't matter if you agree with us or disagree. We appreciate it. does matter if you agree or disagree. Oh, maybe for PK sometimes. It only matters that you tell us anything about what you disagree or agree. Yeah, I guess. I guess. But going down the list here, and I'm trying out my new mic, so I'm sitting closer to it as well. Um, going down the list, Cozy, where can people find you? You can find me all places where you find a Cozy Beluga. Nice. You gotta Google it first, but I only got one of them, so you can't have it. And PK, where can people find you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be up under Paul's beard when it grows to the full extent, <laughs> and then uh, here, hanging out with you all, 4GQ TV. Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm a little tired. It's been a long day, but uh, whenever the dragon comes out his his cave. You know, we do Dragon's Den, and then um, definitely, uh, I think we need a shout out to our other, our, our other shows. You know, um, you know, especially Spooky. I know uh, Paul's when he gets his outro, he's going to talk about it. Uh, we do have uh, the majestic. What is it called? Mayhem. Mayhem. That's coming to. The channel so you guys get excited for that so it's more content more content so you can see how we don't know how to act and you you like <laughs> shenanigans well we got shenanigans for you and it's coming so definitely look out for all of that stuff nice and celebrity pineapple oh jolly saint nick saint paul oh, pineapple delectable jolly man where can people find you you can find me on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays right here on 4GQ TV. Tuesday afternoons, you can find me on Xbox Ambassador Channel for Gaming Differently with Cerebral Paul at 12.30 p.m. Pacific. You can find me on Twitter or the uh, the application formerly called Twitter, X, at Cerebral Paul uh, 1. And you can find me on uh, Fridays at uh, the Doomsayers Network with... Uh, Wasted with wise, and of course, don't let me forget Tuesdays on Retro Renegades. I do believe you are right. I think I remembered everything this time, so there you go. Where's the kaboom? kaboom. Where's the kaboom? Where's the kaboom? There was supposed yep. to be an earth shattering kaboom. Yes, there was. Huh. Earth shattering kaboom. That's right. So, and that's it. There you go. Our Monday, our, and um, the Monday night show is, of course, the wrestling show. The the pop-up show. Wrestling. And we'll have a lot to talk about this week because we didn't have one last week. And, of course, me and Carlo just did an interview with Lord British himself from Ultima Fame for those of you old school PC people. Oh, yeah. Um, and hopefully I Carlo we... will be putting that up soon. I think we need to get some wrestlers to interview, man. So we, we do. Put we it on the we, show. Yep, we need to find some wrestlers to talk to. And the only, I, thing, the, the only couple I talked to wanted a lot of money to be on the podcast. Really? So. Yeah. I, <laughs> I want to see cozy cosplay as the ultimate warrior. Yep. What, what Paul forgot to say is that when we spoke to Richard Garriott, he told us something. He never told anybody else on any other podcast. He dropped something for us exclusive on 4GQ TV. 
Uh-oh. So, oh, what was that? You don't even remember? I don't remember. Uh-oh. He, talk, he talked about <laughs> a magazine situation and how it got turned upside down. Magazine situation. I vaguely remember. I'd have to go back. And oh, listen my to it. Listen to this guy. You probably like oh, about, about his statement. Yeah, his yeah, statement. Yeah, okay. Were, there we go. So you're going to have yeah. to watch the interview for that. It's almost like a two-hour interview. Like, he, we really love talking to him. He's so cool. He's coming back on to talk about his other Earth stuff, like going to outer space. Yeah, I, I was going to say, he is actually an astronaut. We ended up talking two hours about the video game stuff. And, oh, yeah, I'm an astronaut, too. And so we have to bring him back and talk about the space side of things as what? well. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? What? You got a whole a, a whole astronaut? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. And he's actually friends with the one astronaut I met when I was a kid. So that. So was- we gotta. So we gotta get our friend, who doesn't believe that the Earth is circular, so he can have proof to him. His experience. <laughs> he actually did mention uh, flat earthers during the, while we were talking to him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh yeah. wow! Someone's got to be a flat earther. This is going deep now, Paul. You yeah, I know. That. Into a deep controversy state. Um. Also, on Saturday, Majestic Mayhem is starting, I believe, and on that, it the starting panel is going to be Cozy Beluga. It's going to be Death Dealer, and it's going to be. Mahat Mama. Did I say it right, Cozy? Yeah. So be on the lookout for that. It's going to be a really cool thing. Um, and it's going to be anything they feel like talking about. It doesn't have to be video games. It could be just how their day was. Uh, so check that out. It's coming. And then you can find me on 4 TV. And I have placed Paul in charge of the interview stuff, so I do not forget. Um... And I gotta give him the information so we get uh, Tim Cook on and a couple other people so that way he can get that scheduled. But I want to thank everybody for hanging out. Sorry for the long exits here. Paul went to a conspiracy theory, but you watch the interview with Richard Garrett, you'll see why. And then we'll Uh-oh. see you again same time next week. PKQ the na 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 like Batman music, please. No, no, no. No, okay. All right, thanks, everybody. <laughs> See you guys later. Raider taters.